Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and today I'm giving you this Rihanna MTV Music Awards final look. That moment where she did, I think, her best performance of the night with so much passion and feeling. And I totally thought Drake was gonna propose to her. I was freaking out a little bit. Anyways, her makeup pretty well took my breath away. Like, all four performances, but but this one especially just like blew me away. It was nighttime, I was ready to go to bed, and I saw this look, and I'm like, I must do this. Right now, it's giving me life. And her original artist, I believe, is Mylet Morales. I'm gonna link the original artist in the description box, just because I'm not sure. I don't wanna say it and then have it be wrong and butcher it. But anyways, I tried to do an inspired by thing with her actual lipstick that's the only thing I know that's what she used but I thought the look was really beautiful and amazing for fall so stay tuned if you want to see how I did it yeah I'm gonna kind of breeze through this uh, first part because it's pretty similar to what I normally do but first I'm gonna do my Gleam by Melanie Mills body radiance and rose gold as I've mentioned many times it hydrates my skin blurs the skin makes it look nice and smooth do that all over as my moisturizer primer and my step one cameras like on lane right now it's like um I'm gonna use my hourglass vanish foundation in golden amber Riri has like a very flawless matte finished skin so this is just gonna give me a little bit of extra coverage and because I'm obsessed with the long wear I'm gonna use my pro long wear foundation in NW43 and I'm gonna blend that over top and the two together work really well I put it on all over so next I'm gonna use my Studio Finish Concealer and these little palette refills and these are by MAC as well. And I have the color NC40 which I'm going to do first as kind of like my highlight and for a little bit more coverage. I'm doing those in the areas where I want to kind of highlight and add a little bit more coverage. And this has got a yellow undertone so it's strictly highlighting and adding coverage. It's not color correcting. Next, I'm gonna go into the other side, which is the NW25. And this has a little bit of a peach undertone, so I'm gonna use that underneath my eyes and any dark marks on my face, but I think I'm pretty well covered because I used the vanishing foundation. But this is just good under the eyes so I don't get like kind of an ashy color from the yellow tone concealer I put first. Down the center of the nose too. To set it and to keep it matte, I'm gonna use my Laura Geller Double Take Baked Versatile Powder foundation and I'm just going to do that in my t-zone and I'm using a very small amount now I felt like Riri kind of had like a very subtle whoa this obviously just got shampooed sorry now I felt like Rihanna kind of had a subtle not so much in your face type of highlight so I'm gonna go in with my Estee Edit Flash Illuminator Fluid Powder and I'm gonna do a softer highlight today and this is not like a super shiny highlight but it gives a little bit of radiance to the skin down the center of the nose, hard to not go too far. I'm gonna go in with my dark deep mineralized skin finish and do a very subtle contour on the nose using the same brush, which is the R36 Morphe brush, and I'm just blending it down the sides of my nose, very lightly for a subtle contour. Back with my Morphe M402 brush, I'm going to contour the cheeks, and hopefully I don't go too far. Bronze the neck, cross the chin, other side of the cheek just so my face matches my body. Brown the hairline. For Rihanna's eyebrows, I'm going to use my Dip Down Fluid Line and my MAC 263 brush. I just wanna do light stroke, and I'm gonna follow the natural arch of my brow bone, cause that's what I feel like she's kinda got going on. It's faded towards the center, more bold on the outer edges. And I'm just dragging a very small amount along the top and bottom until I figure out my shape. You can use a spoolie to help blend the color through. So I'm trying to keep mine from getting too thick and crazy like I normally would. And not too long. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, hopefully. And I'm gonna just make sure they're not too close together. Her eyeshadow is such like a magical work of art. And because I'm using a colored rain lipstick, I'm gonna go in with colored rain eyeshadows as well. Take the color gingerbread. The texture and blendability is so smooth with these shadows. So I'm gonna start by just doing a light base kind of all over the lid, pushing it into my crease and inner corners of my eye. I'm gonna be doing a lot of layers and really blending because that blown out smoky eye just gave me my whole life. Doing circles and just really working to push that color onto the lid. I'm also going to wing it out on the ends because I was really feeling this blown 
grown out eyeshadow shape she created with her slick back black hair and you can always take a little finger and wipe away the bottom and this is my morphe m441 brush same thing on the other side really pushing that color in all over the lid you don't even have to be too careful as long as you're starting where you want the most product and you're feeling around for the shape of your eye. I'm gonna take that same gingerbread color, different brush. This is my Zoeva 234 brush. And I'm gonna smoke it along my lower lash line. It's like a very tight, smoky eye on the bottom. So you don't wanna pull it down too far or you might wanna, who knows. Next, I'm gonna take this beautiful taupey color called Moments. And I'm gonna start to push that on the outer parts of my eyelid and wing it out in the same shape that we did that first gingerbread color. Going all around my eye and pushing it all the way across, leaving the lid somewhat bare. Now if you need help blending, you can go back into the gingerbread color and just go over top. I just finished watching the show and I was like, I have to do this tutorial like now. So I'll be leaving town in a day. So I'm gonna try and stay up all night and finish this tutorial. So hopefully I'll have it for you the day after the award. I'm also gonna go back to my shader brush and I'm gonna go very tight on top of my lash line. It looked like it had a sheer wash of black through it. So I'm gonna take Black Moon, also color rain, and I'm gonna do the softest bit, wiping off my brush in the crease. Softest. Just to have a wash of smoke and shadow. This is very pigmented, so you just wanna use a bit, only tapping it once in the black, doing a soft amount in the crease, just very lightly, and pulling it out. And I noticed she had just a touch of highlight under the brow, so I'm gonna take the color St. Germain Cocktail and just barely touch underneath. I noticed she had something in her waterline, but it didn't look quite like a black. So I'm taking Urban Decay 24 Hour Waterline. It's like a soft, smoky, gray-brown. And I'm gonna fill my waterline. I also noticed that she just had like a touch of glitter on her eyes. So I'm using Makeup Geek Satellite Glitter. It was kind of like a very muted glitter, so I'm not even gonna use glitter adhesive or anything. And I'm gonna tap some on my hand and just lightly roll it on the eye, very lightly. I don't want it to be a glittery eye, but it was just catching a little something. So her lashes didn't really look like she had false lashes on, but I barely have any, so I'm gonna add these ones, which will look kind of natural on me, and these are the Pixie Lux. I'm gonna do a layer of glue, and then I like to do my top mascara while it dries. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Fully Charged by Pure Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna make top lashes black. Feeling pretty good about this, so I'm just gonna do the bottom as well. And I'm wiggling it back and forth so it separates and gives nice length. Now our lashes are probably ready to be put on right in the center. Same thing on the other side. And I uh, thought they were gonna look natural, but they look like falsies, so I'm just gonna pinch them so that they lay a little flatter. I have the actual lipstick that she was wearing at the end there. So this is Rain Forever by Colored Rain. And I'm gonna try and do her like iconic Cupid's bow here. If I don't look foolish. It's good to start with the Cupid's bow. I don't really have much of a cubes bow, so that would be extra. And I just used a very small amount. And whenever I do a dark lip now, I try to do a sheer layer first. Because uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, I get messy with it. If you want it to be proper, you could use a lip liner, but you know. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to share, subscribe and follow and love yourself and stay pretty and comment below. Let me know what you thought of the awards. I thought it was amazing. Let's talk about it. I love chatting with you guys. I've been talking to you on Snap about it. Anyways, take care and I'll see you next time.